Hi, I'm John Hovanesian. In this video, we're going to review how to manage a Decimase membrane detachment. This is a patient who had cataract surgery with a uh, goniotomy that was complicated by a detachment of Decimase membrane that was not detected during surgery, uh, but found the next day when the patient had significant corneal edema. And on slit lamp, it was evident that there was a separation where Decimase membrane was detached from most of the central cornea. Now in this case, we could not find any place where Decimase was torn on slit lamp, and so I assumed it was um, a detachment that occurred from the temporal incision, probably during hydration of the cornea at the end of the case. So I made my incision in paracentesis nasally, went in with a cannula where the cornea was not edematous, and then injected air carefully. And what you can see is that a Decimase detachment defines itself nicely when air is put inside the eye. You can see the wrinkles, you can see the area where uh, normal appearing light reflexes off the bubble occur and where you have that cellophane appearance of the uh, discrete detachment. And again, I still don't see an area where it is um, torn or where there was a discontinuity in decimase. Uh, I tried to stroke the cornea from the surface in the hopes that I could milk some aqueous from the uh, cleft in decimase membrane but uh, that was not easy to do. I, I then switched to a Q-tip to accomplish this. And here we're not rubbing with the Q-tip so we don't disrupt the epithelium. I'm simply rolling uh, to get a little broader pressure across the surface uh, of the cornea. You could also do a cut down uh, from the surface. The danger there would be that you'd perforate the tear in decimase and, and then worsen your problem. Um, and uh, I felt that there was little enough fluid in the interface here that I could leave this uh, as it is, patch the eye, leave the patient uh, lying supine overnight. And uh, fortunately, the next day, with most of the air already resorbed, the cleft in decimase had already closed, and there was evidence that this was going to be a problem put behind us. Note that this patient has a certain amount of uh, hyphema, and that was uh, thought to be caused by the uh, goniotomy that was performed at the same time as cataract surgery, and the hope is that that will clear itself over time. Uh, a little bit of blood is dusting the posterior cornea uh, in some of the fine wrinkles and decimates that are almost inevitable after this kind of a procedure. I'm John Hovanesian. Thanks for watching.